Okay, and um, you know all the other good stuff, but I don't need to go ahead and make a full budget here. You know what I'm doing. All right, so we'll just call these accounts or whatever you want to call them, and then months, January, and let's just make a budget for the next six months: February, March, April, May, and June. All right, and then we can just let's say every month we make four thousand dollars. I'm getting it. I'm doing this so I can show you how to format cells. Our rent's always the same. Let's just say it's a thousand. Using the autofill feature and dragging that over. Utilities we budget to be three hundred. That includes includes cable and internet. Yeah, it's cheap here. Car payment. Again, dragging it over. Insurance. Full coverage. Groceries. 500. Partying. Uh, $1,500 a month. So there we can we have a start to our budget. So now we want to make we'll have a balance. Or actually let's see. Surplus and balance. Okay. So then we can start entering our formulas. Our it's gonna be um, equals our income minus the sum of all of our expenses. Notice we don't have an account for savings because we don't save money. Hey, we still have a surplus even $1,500 a month and partying. Alright, by the way, that's not, I don't live like that. Alright, we can drag this over and that's going to calculate our surplus every month and then for balance, we let's just say we're starting at zero say we have no money in our account we're going to do the minus the sum of and then for our, our balance since our balance is going to be oh wait hold on I did that wrong equals income minus the sum of all of our expenses there and then our balance will be equals our previous month surplus plus our previous month's balance plus order of operations plus income minus sum of our expenses there so it's always our balance plus our surplus or I could just, instead of doing all that, I could just say equals balance plus surplus or deficit. And then we can drag that over. And you will see that our balance will grow every month since we have a surplus. Maybe we should at least be putting that in our savings. Okay, so zoom out. Oh, by the way, I'm zooming out by hitting control and I'm using the roller on my mouse. That's another tip just thrown in. Okay, so we want to format our cells. <clears throat> we can we can use cell fill. Um, cell fill. We just select our cells, and you can see that our we have the home tab up here, and our font group, right here. We have our fill color command. We can click down here, and we can select any of these colors that we want our fill, our cell fill to be. Okay, so that's one way to do it. You can also select. our income and expenses, our accounts. And another way to do it is to open up the, click that dialog box launcher, and we open up the format cells dialog box, select the fill tab, and we can enter in, select a different color, and then press OK. So that's another way to do fill.
and you can see that dialog box launcher. I just clicked it again. We can format numbers, alignment, font, border, fill. And there's some security settings. All right. Okay. Um, we can add borders. So let's say down here. Let's just say we want to add borders. We select our entire budget there, and I can click right here. This is a borders command, the down arrow. I could just select all the different types of borders I want, top, left, bottom, right, no border at all, all borders. We'll select all borders. And there you can see I've added borders, and you can mess with that. Um, I'm just introducing it to you. All right, let's separate. Let's do a thick border around here to separate these, and then these are different types of, these are surplus and balance, so we'll change the colors there, we'll change the color for our, for surplus and balance. So you can see, I mean, it just makes it more presentable. All right, another thing with formatting is, um, okay, watch, I'm going to type in here. Um, monthly budget and sell A2. All right, but say we want to have a title. So what I can do is I'm going to select um, all the columns in row two that cover the range of our budget. I can click this merge button and I can select merge across. So now what I did was I just merged all the cells from cell A2 to cell G2. Now I can select that, and that's theoretically one cell, or um, practically one cell in here. And then up here we have our alignment commands, so I can align my cell to this, the content that I entered into cell A2 center. Now let me undo this. Here's the undo button. Click undo. I could have also hit... Um, and I'll unmerge. How you unmerge cells, you just click on the merge button and select unmerge cells. Um, if I wanted to merge and center, there's a button. You just hit merge and center. And it will not only merge the cells, but it will center the content. Okay. Um, also go over number formats. These are, I honestly don't like the way this looks, but you are learning how um, to format cells. It could be much better looking. Um, since these are all numbers, I mean, these are all, it's all dollars. We can change our number format. So up here in the home ribbon, our number group, I can go down here and I can select currency or accounting. I can give it dollar symbols. Okay, you can see that there's decimals. If I want to remove the decimals right here, I have my decimal buttons. I can add more decimals or I can have no decimals at all. Okay. Um, another thing I can do is I can resize these cells to all just fit perfectly. So let me select the entire range. And whenever I do that, I select the whole range. I just find um, I find a border of one of the columns and double click. And there, it kind of consolidated everything together. All right. Let me add a little bit of fill there for the title. More borders. If I want to add a thick outside border, I can do that. Again, if I want to remove. And then finally, um, if you want to remove all of that formatting that I just did and start over, I can select this range of cells, clear, and then I can select clear formats. And that's going to clear all the formatting such as the borders, the alignment, the merging of the cells, and it's going to leave all my content. All right. Um, okay, so now you can you can. Um, so whenever uh, whenever basically the formatting formatting of cells. Now um, let's say that this is our estimated budget. Let me undo what I just did, and we'll keep the formatting there. Let's remove the borders. I don't like the borders. Going down here, you can see I clicked on there and just click on no borders whatsoever. All right, and let's just have a border for separate each 
certain parts with an outside border.